Hi, I'm Venkat Krishnamurthy, Senior Director of Product Management in the Data Protection Team here at Zscaler. I'm here to talk to you about Zscaler workflow automation. You may have heard recently in the press that we've completed an acquisition of a company called ShiftRight. They bring native incident and workflow management and automation to the Zscaler portfolio of products. I'm super excited to inform you all that we've already integrated all of the workflow automation capabilities into Zscaler. And today we're going to actually show you what it means for data protection. With this workflow automation tool, admins are able to quickly log in, look at all the data. If they have the right role-based access, they can actually view the sensitive data. They can decide for themselves how sensitive the data is that's actually created that incident. They're able to easily have conversations with the end user that generated that incident, with the end user supervisor if required, and also with their own management to understand what to do about maybe tweaking policies, uh, maybe allowing something or blocking something. And then automating the whole process as needs arise, thereby simplifying governance for your entire data protection incident management flow. In the demo today, I'm going to be assuming a couple of roles. Okay, one as Mark, the end user who's trying to send data to some cloud application, which they perhaps should not be doing. I would, I'm also going to assume the role of Jane, uh, the supervisor uh, who, you know, can make some recommendations to the DLP administrator on what to do about that particular incident and incidents like that going forward. And I'm Kevin, the DLP practitioner or the admin, who's actually looking at the incident, maybe making making some decisions, maybe changing policy um, or enforcing policy, etc. You'll also see another persona crop up, the CISO, who's actually also within the context of that incident, take a look at what's actually happening and provide some feedback to Kevin, the DLP practitioner, to make some decisions. Without further ado, Let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Mark. Let's see here. This is information that I would really like on my personal device. So I'm just going to download this. Download. Okay. But what's the best way for me to have access to this data? What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this to my personal OneDrive. And uh, that way I'll have access to it no matter what device I'm using. And it doesn't have to be my corporate managed device. Huh, that's the best way to do this. All right. Okay. So now I have this on my personal OneDrive. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm the DLP administrator at this corporation. Looks like I'm seeing some high priority incidents come by from Mr. Mark here, there is some serious data that is being sent. Uh, let me look at it here. Uh, as I click into this incident, I can see it's a high priority incident created just a couple minutes ago. Um, and wow, it, there is some significant exact data match policies that have been hit here, which means there is PII data that Mark is uh, downloading from our corporate OneDrive onto their laptop. And let me just see what kind of data this is, right? So, okay, well, look at that. It does look like it's pretty sensitive data, but Mark is actually downloading this data from our corporate OneDrive to their own laptop. So it should be reasonably safe, but let me just make sure, maybe I can look at this file to see if it is, problematic. Wow. Um, this is absolutely sensitive data. But again, he's downloading into um, his own laptop. It's probably okay. But now let me go see what the other incident was all about. So I'm just gonna 
maybe close this incident out for now. Um, it's not really that important, but wow, here's the other one. And it's Mark again with the same file name, but this time he appears to be uploading this data to OneDrive Personal. So he appears to be sending this to his own personal OneDrive. And within our data team, we've been having a bunch of discussions around whether we should be having block policies to block these, this data from getting sent um, to personal OneDrive. Again, this is exactly the same data, it's the same file. Um, and as you can see here, wow, it's the exact same data. But while they were, it was okay for uh, Mark to be downloading this to their laptop, but the fact that they're uploading this to their own um, device, I mean, to their own personal OneDrive is a little problematic. Um, so let me just maybe notify the user and ask them for, hey, get some justification for why they're doing this. Hi, this is Mark again. Hmm, looks like I got an email from our DLP system saying there's been some problem here. So, wow. Um, yes, I did upload this. Let me see what they're asking me about. Okay, exactly. So yeah, this is the data I uploaded, absolutely. Um, so I'm just gonna say this is my manager approved it. I think I spoke with Jane. see what the was there a response here back from mark hmm i can see that the status of this incident changed to a justification response received and what is mark saying my manager approved this thought this was allowed hmm this is definitely not allowed but how come the manager approved this maybe i can escalate this to Mark's supervisor. Oh, I can see it's auto-populated here. I know exactly who the supervisor is. Uh, let me just ask Jane for this. Um, hey, Jane, can you please take a look at this incident? The user Mark, yes, Mark works for me, has violated company information policy. Ah. What has happened here? Let me just see. I know that Mark and I were discussing something. And we talked about it. Um, what has Mark tried to... Ooh, this absolutely looks like sensitive information that Mark is sending to his own personal OneDrive. This... This should not be allowed. This is not what Mark and I spoke about. So I recommend that we block these transactions if possible going forward. Right, maybe we see if we received a response from Jane. Wow, and we escalated this. Here's Jane, Jane Smith. Um, this should not be allowed. That's what I thought. I recommend that we block these transactions if possible going forward. All right, so it's clear to me that the manager doesn't think this type of data should be allowed to be sent outside our organization. What I'm gonna do now is get my supervisor, the CISO, Mr. Thomas's approval. to block these kinds of transactions. Let's go see if I got an email um, here. Action required. Wow. Um, the user mark has violated company policy. Let me go see what this is all about. Wow, definitely. Um, 
this is some really serious sensitive data that's being exfiltrated. Let's see what the end user said. Um, oh, this the manager saying this should not be allowed and that these should rec- these should be blocked going forward. Absolutely. So I'm just going to say let's block these. Thank you. All right, let's see what James said. I got a response from James. Let's block these. Absolutely. Thank you, James. I totally agree with you. So I'm just going to go over now to the ZIA portal. I'm just going to go into this engine that's kind of allowed right now. I'm just going to go into this engine and I'm just going to block it. Okay. Save. Okay, and all I need to do is activate, and we should be good to go. I am so happy. I'm Mark here. Um, last time it let me upload this data. Let me see if it lets me upload this this time when I try to do this. Wow. Sorry, there was a problem uploading this file. Please try again. Wow. This is not allowed, obviously. Hi, this is Venkat again. As you can see, Zscaler workflow automation gives you all the capabilities that you need to secure your data. The admin was able to go immediately see what the problem was, maybe have quick conversations with the end user, their supervisor, also have a conversation with any data governance, data security leaders in their own organization, and then actually go ahead and make policy changes so that the data is absolutely secured going forward. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that everything that you saw is all automatable. We wanted to showcase all the capabilities of the product, but you could automate this whole thing if you wanted to. To learn more, please go to the URL on screen. Thank you.